Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt here with All Things Funnels and in this video we're going to talk about how you can create a subscription product and make it be one of your bump products while using ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels Classic to be specific. So if you're using ClickFunnels 2.0, it's already built in. It's now native. You guys can go right ahead and do that. But over the last, whatever, decade, seven, eight, ten years, whatever it's been since ClickFunnels Classic has been around, you have not been able to do this. I promise you, if you think that you have, you probably have not. And that is have a bump product be a subscription. So that way you could offer your main product like, hey, get my book for $14.97. And then, oh, by the way, here's a little bump product that you could add and say, grab hold of my uh, cool monthly product, whatever it is, for $9.97 a month or $97 a month or $2.99 a month, whatever it is. Uh, you couldn't do that. You could not set a product. You could not set a subscription product as a bump, but now you can. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So you will need a third party program called CF Pro Tools. You're going to need ClickFunnels 1.0 if you guys are a ClickFunnels 1.0 user. All right. So let's look at some statistics as of today. Most people, and when I say most people that are using ClickFunnels, I mean like 90% of the people using ClickFunnels are using ClickFunnels Classic. So we are going to focus on CF 1.0 or what's called CF Classic in this video and how to set your bump as a subscription product or how to set a subscription product as a bump. All right. So let's look at what that would look like on your page. Guess what? Funny thing. It would look exactly like it would normally. It would look like a book. Okay. Here, like say this was a book product and you got your credit card and then there's this whole, oh look, you can click this. Yes, I'll take this bump. It's only $97 a month. And then it adds it into the order summary just like any other normal funnel where you're adding in a bump. So it looks perfectly normal, but it's not a bump. It's not a regular price product. That product is a subscription product. So I know that I'm beating this one to death. I, I want you guys to really understand the gravity of what's happening. You've never been able, you can't do this natively without CF Pro Tools. You can't do this. Um, they have not allowed it. If you try to, if you create a subscription product and then try to set it up as, here, I'll show you. If you go to your products and go uh, to add a product and then try to set up, this only works with Stripe, by the way, but if I can go to subscription and save in next, you can't turn that subscription into a bump product. So down here, Generally, there's like a little slider that looks like this. I'm not going to mess with that, but there's normally a slider that says set this product as a bump. It's not there. It doesn't exist. You can't do it. It has to be a regular price product that you set as a bump. So here's the workaround. This is, uh, for the most part, a workaround using CF Pro Tools, and that requires two, two add-on scripts by CF Pro Tools. One of them is called multiple bumps. This is normally used to allow you to add in multiple bumps into your order form. So you might be like, hey, I want to offer two or three things. Additionally, you might want to offer two or three things additionally, and it also requires the order summary. But what, what we found out was that the multiple bumps, you don't have to notate the products as a bump inside of your product settings inside of CF Pro Tools. There's no reason for it. You don't have to do it. So guess what? That opens up the realm of possibilities for you to have a subscription product be a bump. How cool is that? All right, so let's go through and I'll set it up real quick with you because um, it's already set up. It shouldn't take too long. Let's go back to our bumps here and I'll show you how this looks. I'm going to go to the overview and edit the page. So you're going to put a uh, normal bump product in here. It can be a two-step bump. It can be a one-step bump, um, but I have... A, uh, if I go to manage here, um, you can see that we have a bump here. Just a regular old bump, nothing special about it. Um, you can put in here in your headline, yes, I will take it. It's only $97 a month or $9.97 a month, whatever you want it to be. Um, because of the code that we're using, you will have to add a little bit of CSS in there. And you find that by going in here to the CSS code. And you're going to call that CF-Multi-Bump-Bump whatever the product ID is. If you go into to use CF Pro Tools, there's tutorials on how to find that product ID. I'll save that for them. And then of course, click update. Um, tracking codes in your footer code. 
you're going to be using the order summary uh, as we previously talked about and the multiple bumps these are real easy to set up nothing major as far as the setup goes that's all you have to do so basically add in a order bump that's literally it so let's uh let's go back to the page and preview that once you've set that up it, it'll actually just work there's really nothing more to it um it's in test mode you come over here and go oh bam look i've got the book i've got the subscription we can put the product through with a uh, test purchase let's try that out i'm gonna throw that in there bam 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 um complete the order make sure i've got everything let's just say that i do now we're going to go over and check out stripe and real quick you can see in here um, i now have a second product uh, that has gone through in the subscriptions that just took place just now and if i go to my overview uh, or my payments over here in test mode um, i've got a 14 dollars 97 cent order so that worked it it charged out the, the one price product and then i do have that product on a 30-day delay for the subscription and that subscription also was created so that's all there was to it you go in there and check it out to see all the data and see what took place all that that was just a test transaction but it worked guys that's all that you need to know i'm so happy that uh, we were able to make this workaround happen and that we're able to share this with not just you but with the click funnels community uh, remember this works natively with cf 2.0 so if you're a 2.0 user um, this functionality is already built in all you have to do is create the product and set it as a bump and it should work right out of the gate um, i'm going to leave down in the description i'm going to leave links to cf pro tools to click funnels and to click funnels 2.0 so if you don't have uh if you don't already have a subscription with them um, go check them out go get a subscription go check those out and make life easier make it work the way that you want it all right use these platforms to your advantage to make your offers work so that you can get the highest conversion so that you can get the highest acv average cart value all right so i think that's about it uh, i've talked my head off on this um, i'll leave links to the appropriate videos so that you guys can get more information on setting this up and get a little more in depth um, but I, I was excited about this and really wanted to tell you guys how it works and what you guys can do. It's it's a workaround with CF Pro Tools and ClickFunnels Classic using the multiple bumps add-on. So go check that out over at CF Pro Tools. Links in the description. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, take care. Stay awesome.